Hi, everybody. Alexi and I welcome you again to our series on great medical breakthroughs. And this is one of our favorites. And it's a man called Joseph Pilates. And I'm sure if you go to a health club or spa, is they have a Pilates machine. Well, Joseph Pilates was the father of core. Everyone heard of core these days, your core. Well, he discovered the core in the human anatomy basically a hundred years before the word core came out into common parlance. So let's start with a little context and a little history. Joseph Pilates was born in Germany in 1880, and he never had any formal schooling, but his genius was the body. He was an acrobat, a circus performer, a gymnast, a boxer. That was his real genius. And as a young man, there was a depression in England, in uh, Germany. So he went to England to make a living. And the year was 1914. So for any of you history buffs out there is the beginning of World War I. And of course they heard his German accent. So what they do, they thought he was a spy. They put him in prison on the Island of Man. Okay. And he takes a look around and it was the exact same time of the worldwide Spanish flu, the pandemic. Sound familiar? Okay. So he knew number one, number one, number one is to stay in the best shape of his life to survive. And the, the uh, prison was actually in a hospital setting. And Joseph Pilates took a look around. He says, wow, I have to keep in shape and exercise, but there's nothing here except for one thing, the hospital beds. So what he did, long story short, is he took the springs from the hospital beds and rigged them up to do exercises, not only for himself, but for wounded soldiers. For example, he took the bedpost there and he took some of the springs and wow, the development of core. What a way, I mean, you know, the word serendipity, just amazing. And the war ended 1918 and the British government was so impressed by his talents, they wanted him to train the British Royal Marines. He says, thank you very much, but I'm a man of peace and I'm gonna to go to New York City. And he goes on the boat and he meets his wife, his future wife, who was a nurse. And the two of them uh, go to New York City and in their apartment, they started helping out in a very therapeutic way, all sorts of people who depended on their own bodies for incredible performance. In dance is Martha Graham, George Balanchine, famous athletes, and guess what they charged at the time? $5 a treatment. So is, so Joseph Pilates uh, just even, I've seen pictures of him, 85 years old, just look great. So to finish up, what is the core? Okay. And in, again, in common lingo, you know, there's, oh, is John looks great. He has a beautiful six pack. Well, that's the rectus abdominis. That's that outside muscle, okay, that they call the six pack. That's not the core. It's possible to have a great looking six pack, okay, but have a weak core. The core is like four layers of plywood 
and four layers of muscle, okay? And the core of the core, so to speak, is the transversus abdominis, I just call it the TA muscle. So this is especially important for seniors, why? Because of posture, you have a good core, you have a good posture, you have a good posture and everything is aligned so that the blood will go through the carotid arteries and give tremendous amount of oxygen to the brain. So embryologically, I had to teach embryology to medical students uh, over 50 years ago. And it's known that say, first the core develops in babies and then the appendages, fancy name for arms and legs. So all movements, movements start from the core, okay? Not from the extremities. So you have a nice platform. So I think it's intuitive why seniors really need a strong core. So the, the, the core with the uh, springs is will elongate the muscles and strengthen them at the same time. Your heavy weights will strengthen the muscles, but contract them, make them shorter. So if you go to any health club or any spa, YMCA is you will see a Pilates equipment there. And there's several of them, but your archetypal one is called the Cadillac. Okay. And it's about $5,000. Uh, so it's good to use in the health clubs there. And guess what? Uh, that machine, the Pilates machine is based on. If you take a look, it's the same springs that Joseph Pilates used in the hospital beds on the island of man in the hospital to survive the war and help out other prisoners. So again, Alexia and I uh, uh, thank you for having us and Alexia and I bid you a great day and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks so much, bye-bye.